For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. A few weeks ago, students from the community Hebrew school behind me in Toronto visited the America Israel Public Affairs Committee convention in Washington. It was a pro Israel get together, and some of the students here came in second place in a contest for Israel advocacy. One of the things they did at that conference was they met with a former assistant to Donald Trump, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, who's actually made videos for the Rebel. He gave them a one hour pep talk on Israel advocacy. So far, so great. But when one of the teachers from that field trip tweeted a picture of the kids with Dr. Gorka, well, the left-wing Trump derangement set went nuts. Well, that's fair enough. They hate Trump, and frankly, a lot of left-wingers hate Israel too. But what was most surprising was that the school, the head of school, Jonathan Levy, threw his own kids to the wolves, and the teacher too, demanding that the teacher, Aviva Polanski, take down her social media posts, renouncing and disavowing the event, and frankly, lying about it, claiming that the school had no idea that the kids were going to meet Dr. Gorka. In fact, the school saw the itinerary in advance, approved it, and a vice principal of the school, Rabbi Gamara, attended the lecture and was quite pleased with it. Well, we decided to fight back because it reminded us of those Covington Catholic schoolboys from Kentucky who went to Washington for a pro-life march, were denounced by leftists, were thrown to the wolves by their own school, but fought back and redeemed their reputation. So we've tried to help. We have a petition called StandWithAviva.com. That was the teacher that was disavowed by her school. Let's go in now to deliver this petition, nearly 5,000 names. Many of them are alumni of the school. Many are Jewish people, but many are not. Many, frankly, Israel advocacy isn't even that big a deal for them. They're just shocked by the idea of a school caving in to Trump derangement syndrome and disavowing their own kids. By the way, if you want to hear the totality of Dr. Gorka's lecture to the kids, you can see that at our petition page, standwithaviva.com. All right, I'm going to go in the school now. I'm going to ask to meet with Jonathan Levy, the head of school. I don't know if he's going to meet me. I mean, he's certainly uh, been hiding under his desk through this whole affair. Uh, let's go in and see. Well, I just came out of the chat school here in North Toronto where I hand-delivered the petition of nearly 5,000 people, including school alumni, calling on the head of school to re rescind his condemnation of Aviva Polanski and the students for meeting with Dr. Sebastian Gorka. I have to say it was a very unusual experience. I asked to meet with Jonathan Levy himself, Jonathan Levy, and he would not come and meet me. I left a phone message with his assistant. I spoke to two vice principals. He wouldn't come down. The two vice principals couldn't have been friendlier. And although I don't think they spoke to me on the record, it wasn't off the record either, um, I won't say who told me this, but one vice principal who attended the speech with Dr. Gorka said it was amazing, said it was inspiring and said that Dr. Gorka is the opposite of an anti-Semite. And anyone who says he's an anti-Semite, that defamers the anti-Semite. I've never heard such fulsome praise of Dr. Gorka ever. I should tell you that the minute I walked into the school, an English teacher said, keep up the fight. She watched both videos we've done. And one student in grade 11 came up to me and asked to take a selfie. I was unanimously welcomed by everyone other than the head of school. A very, very strange occasion. To close my broadcast, I'll say this. I think this school, Tannenbaum Chat, is a pro-Jewish school. It's a pro-Israel school. I think the teachers, especially Aviva Polanski, are pro-Jewish and pro-Israel. I think the rabbis and the vice principals are outstanding. I think the kids are great, even the ones who follow the rebel and come up for a selfie. But I think it's awfully bizarre that the head of school, who threw the teacher and students and Dr. Gorka under the bus, won't even come to meet me to take the petition. For the Rebel Media, I'm Ezra Levant.